Hello and welcome to today's video. We're going to be taking a quick look at the Ioptron CEM26. And what that means is the CEM means a center balanced equatorial mount and the 26 designates the amount of weight capacity this mount will take. So 26 pounds payload, not including the counterweights. So just looking at it uh, really quick, We've got the front here where you have CEM26 across the top. This is your cap. This particular model has the iPolar installed in it. You can see the iPolar all the way down at the bottom, but it doesn't want to try to focus. But there is a uh, camera lens deep in there that, there we go, That uh, that's the iPolar. You do have a counterweight shaft, which is kind of funky. You have to undo these uh, two knobs, and it uh, s uh, sits in and then it threads it instead of the uh, standard screw-in type of uh, traditional counterweight shaft. A little different, but it's all right. It is a standard size. All your previous counterweights will work. The one that is supplied with it is a 10-pound counterweight, which unfortunately did not work for uh, this uh, lightweight Astrotech 72. This is only about uh, seven pounds right here, uh, four pound and three pounds. So uh, the 10 pound is a little bit too heavy for uh, light refractors for like imaging. So you might have to use some of your older uh, counterweights, which is okay. Uh, this here is your uh, clutch knob for the azimuth. They're just little uh, lock and unlock. But once they're unlocked, you can swing the access so freely, and it is really a nice, balanced uh, system. Very smooth bearings on this. It's one of the lovely things about Ioptron products. Looking at the uh, control panel here, you have a guide port, a 12 volt uh, DC out port in case you wanted to put like electronic focuser or something. And then you do have the declination cable, which is required obviously to run the declination. So looking a little further down, you've got, uh, this is how you attach the mount to the tripod. There's a, a bolt here, there's a bolt on the other side as well. You have a bubble level, and then here's your azimuth adjustments uh, for polar alignment. You do have your altitude adjustment here uh, to unlock this access. I'll show you on the other side how we do that. But this is the uh, the knob here to adjust your uh, altitude. And uh, it is quite, uh, when this is stiff, this quite digs into your hand quite a bit. So it kind of hurts. So that's uh, one of the uh, drawbacks of this new generation as they have these new type knobs that I'm not uh, too much of a fan of. And then like I said, back here, you've got your uh, declination port, and then you've got your RA, uh, sorry, you have your deck port, and then you have your deck clutch here as well, just as smooth as the, as the RA is. And uh, if you have a, you know, a real heavy telescope on there, it's a good thing to uh, hold on to that because that is something that can happen is it can swing quite quickly. So yeah, just one more look back here at the uh, azimuth adjustments. It does say uh, CEM26 on the back of the mount, not like you're ever gonna be behind the mount unless you have the polar scope. On this particular one, the eye polar is attached uh, right below it there. It does require a uh, USB cable in order to power that baby up to get it to work. Going around to the uh, the front here it is sitting on a 1.75 inch a light rock tripod that's ioptron's uh, replacement for the previous generation two inch tripod uh, it's just as stable uh, but with these lightweight mounts you really don't need a ton and then it does have a nice uh, spreader tray with a bunch of eyepiece cutouts and uh, some areas for some accessories now looking at the other side of the CEM26, you do have a handbox port there, you do have a 12 volt DC plug, and then this handle here is just a twist handle. You would just uh, loosen it, loosen it to, uh, you know, adjust your altitude up and down, and then you sit here and you basically lock it back into position again. So. 
You have your eye port back here, which is for accessories. So if you have something like the Ioptron GPS, you can use the uh, GPS accessory with it. Uh, this came with one of my other mounts, but uh, you can obviously use it. It's the same plug, so that's, that's really great. You do have uh, just a standard Vixen style dovetail with this nice, uh, nice hard handle here. It is rather interesting that Ioptron, this dovetail you can see on top here, only this part right here moves in and out. So the re it's not an entire spring design. The only part that's holding the OTA from this side is really this little box right here. That uh, that goes in, and as you you know tighten this up, it it has a spring and it goes on and touches it. However, it won't gouge your dovetail bar because it is shaped the same angle as a regular Vixen style dovetail. So that's really a nice feature. On this one, there is not a Lossamandi uh, feature as far as I know personally, uh, but uh, I'm sure. You ADM or somebody will come out with a different uh, dovetail saddle in order to make that uh, compatibility. So for all the CEM26, very, very, very lightweight. This whole mount head only weighs about 10 pounds. Uh, so very, very lightweight. It does come with Ioptron's 8409 hand controller. And one of the things about the uh, hand controller that a lot of people like is it's uh it is rather uh weird at first if you're coming from a celestron or a mead but it is actually pretty intuitive once you get to know it. it does have a usb support on the bottom which is absolutely fantastic and uh you know it has a lot of different menus for periodic error correction you can uh, update the firmware easily you can select all kinds of targets uh, but one of the things about this mount that's actually really great, besides that it's really lightweight, is how quiet this mount is. Let me demonstrate the motors here. So it is a very, very quiet mount. I'm not sure if you're able to pick that up on the camera here, but it is super, super quiet. And that is something that a lot of people complain about. A lot of Meads and some of the Celestrons is they they have uh, quite a coffee grinder sound and, you know, it'll wake up your neighbors at 2 o'clock in the morning and that's just, you know, how it is. The thing about the CEM26, it does have a uh, resolution on the encoder as a plus or minus uh, seven arc seconds, which is pretty good if you're doing astrophotography. That's pretty good out of the box. You can train the periodic error correction if you choose to. And then, uh, but the whole mount weighs only 10 pounds. This full setup right here, I'd say, is uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of about uh, 40 pounds because the telescope tube's 10 pounds. You got almost 10 pounds of counterweight, 10 pounds of a mountain head, 10 pounds of a tripod, you know, and then you put a camera, accessories, everything else. But it is super lightweight, it's super portable, and it's probably one of the best uh, mounts to go out in the field with. You can also get it uh, with a regular illuminated polar scope. You can also get it with the inch and a half tripod instead of the uh, 1.75 inch tripod. And you can also get it with and without a hard case, which I do have the hard case right here. It comes uh, standard equipment from Ioptron if you purchase that uh, particular package. But it is already pre-cut. You do, like I said, get a 10 pound counterweight included. You will get also an AC power supply, the hand controller, the mount itself, and then the foam comes out of the top lid to provide you with your counterweight bar, a USB port, and then for the spreader tray for the uh, tripod. So it's a really nice, uh, fully functional case that Ioptron gives you with uh, some of the higher packages. Now this total package here uh, with the upgraded tripod, with the iPolar, uh, and the hard case runs about $1,200. Uh, but if you look at some of the other options that are within this uh, 
category in terms of other mounts. The AVX from Celestron is uh, $900. So for a little bit more though, you're getting a hard case, electronic polar scope, you're getting better uh, gears in terms of this one is uh, servo motors, uh, sorry, stepper motors, where they're really quiet. I believe they're belt driven even, and the ability to do long exposure astrophotography so easily with this. The AVX uses regular spur gears, however, with the grease that Celestron and some of the other factories use uh, in that Cinta group, they kind of get uh, what what we like to call, you know, cloggy. They they really have a really stiff. Uh, movement in the bearings and that's not good for imaging that's that's really not good the ioptron here though has really smooth bearings and that's one of the things that i've me personally have always been impressed about ioptron over the years is that they have the smoothest bearings the smoothest clutches in the latest generation of products they've really improved them to be really really fantastic but I hope you check one out. This is just a, a quick overview of the CEM26 as I get to do some astrophotos and some real deep, in-depth stuff with this mount. I'll be sure to do an updated uh, review later on uh, in the year once I get this out in field and some dark sky and figure out all the buttons and everything. But as of right now, so far it's an impressive little mount and I can't wait to really run it through its paces. The Clear Skies, hope you enjoyed this video subscribe for the next video coming out. We'll see you next time. Thanks.